Hello, hello, and welcome back to Devlog. In this series, we're developing payroll software from scratch. In this episode, we're going over some exciting improvements, setting up authentication for the control center, and putting together a beautiful employee table. Before we get started on today's tickets, let me show you some exciting improvements. On the landing page, the control center status has updated from the design phase to the development phase. Thank goodness we made that change, our millions of investors were getting so nervous. Scrolling down a bit, this devlog section is quite outdated, so I threw together some logic to always display the most recent episode. Not gonna lie, the code is pretty straightforward. I just hit the Google API endpoint with the devlog playlist ID, then I grabbed the last video in the playlist, which is the most recent one, and finally I returned the embed link. Not bad, pretty cool. And look at this, we got some professional unit testing done for the main app. I low-key had to do this since my coworker called me out on it, all right? Although we might switch to Vitest or Vtest pretty soon. We'll see. All right, all right, let's do some tickets. First up, setting up authentication for the control center. Right off the bat, let's put together the admin database model. I hope we get this right the first time. I don't wanna redo all of this, it's, it'll be so over. All right, so we can't let users log into an entire organization with their personal account, so we'll do authentication using this new model. Therefore, we'll need an ID, an email, and password. We'll also want to eventually implement different levels of admin privileges, so we'll have a role attribute. Next, we'll want to give organizations control over these admin accounts, so we'll have an active boolean attribute they can use to toggle them on or off. Now for the relationships, we'll of course need an organization link, but I'm thinking a user relationship as well. For security purposes, there should be a specific user responsible for each admin account and anything that account does. We, we don't want random accounts just floating out there in the metaverse, you know, unattended. And that's it, I think we're done. Since we're sharing this schema with the employee facing app, we should make an NPM library, which automatically uses the same schema for both repositories. However, I don't know how to do that. So that's something I'll have to research later. So for now, we're done. We'll want to eventually test this. So let's create an admin account that's connected to my organization and user. Next up, we'll need to update the auth route. For the admin app, we won't be supporting Google authentication until further notice. So let's scrap the provider altogether. We then need to modify our session logic to use the admin model instead of the user model. Okay, okay, moment of truth. Let's log in and perfect. Very nice. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Reverse it and throw it back for a second. We need to change the company email column to just email because it's messing up some built-in Prisma functionality. Here is the final session logic, don't DDoS me please, and we can see that this worked because the admin is automatically redirected to the connected user's locale. Isn't that wonderful? Come on now. Alright, very cool, let's push these changes up and move on to the next ticket. Displaying all employees in a lovely little table. All right, to get this started, we need to set up the employees route, which in Next.js is just a new directory with a page component. Navigating to slash employees, we can see our page showing up. Coolio. I threw together another sidebar nav element for this route with an icon from Flowbyte. Beautiful, looks pretty good and works as expected. Now for this ticket, we have to make an engineering decision. A good programmer would build a general table component that could be reused in various parts of the app, benefiting us in the long run. A fantastic programmer would rack up tech debt, throw a ticket into the backlog, and make a single use table today. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm just copying over all of the table components from our main app, but you can check out the linked episode to see how we put it together the first time. Now comes the tedious job of converting this from a pay statement table to an employee table, abusing find and replace.
We'll need to grab all of the organization's employees, and we can do that using a Prisma query directly in our server component. Alright, I know it's barely working, but it's a proof of concept. Alright, let's fix up the table, make it into a very short montage. And here's the final code. Our server component is pretty clean and straightforward. It passes the employee data to the table, including the department, salary, and user relationships. The table itself is basically exactly like the pay statements table we built together, just using the employee data instead with columns for name, email, occupation, department, pay group, and salary. I've also set up an employee modal, which is empty for now. I have updated the filter button to now filter departments instead of pay statement types. And of course, we map each employee to an employee entry component. And here's the final result. It looks wonderful and fits well with the layout we've set up. And of course, we can sort on all of the columns. We can filter by departments. And look at this, we can search by name. Very cool. Oop, I almost forgot about privacy mode. If we turn that on, we can of course hide the salary amounts. Holy, this is a huge commit. I gotta remember to commit more often, but we are done. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Devlog. The admin database model, authentication, the employees route, and the employees table. We've done quite a bit this episode for the control center. I hope you enjoyed this episode and maybe learned something along the way. Make sure to subscribe to follow along and see where this project goes. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.